What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the iPhone slide transition effect. Alright guys, so once you've downloaded the templates and the sound effect, the Wish sound effect, and as well as the iPhone shutter sound effect, you want to go ahead and first import the iPhone template. So just drag that on top of your video clips. Assuming you have all of your video clips already put together and nice and they're every, everything's color graded, color corrected, everything's nice and ready to go. The music will add in the end because it's kind of like the least important part uh, right now. Um, even though music is by far one of the most important parts in film. However, we're going to ignore that just for now. So we have this right here. As you can see, you don't even have to do anything with the template. You just import it right on top and you're ready to go. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Seriously, guys, I have a whole bunch of tutorials laid out for you guys this week. A new schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. All of the other days are just, ra not random, but just different videos, okay? Just keep that in mind. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, except today, because today is an exception. So, uh, we have the template right here, and we wanna go ahead and make sure that it fits the whole entire timeline or the whole entire project, and we wanna go ahead and add the transition. Now, I try to stay away from paid plugins, because I know you guys can't really not, I'm not saying you guys can't afford them, but I know I know you guys don't really like paying for plugins, and I totally respect that. I I I know you guys you know don't want to go that route, which is totally fine. So I try to find a way to do it without um, buying plugins, and that is by going to the transitions, go to the movement, and go to the slide option. So this one is built in into Final Cut Pro 10. You don't have to buy anything, of course. Drag that onto your video, and uh, it's usually going to add the one in the beginning and one in the end. Delete the one in the end because we only need one in the beginning. And uh, you can add one in the end if you want, but that's up to you. So we have this one right here and you can see that everything looks pretty good. It's kind of slow. So we're gonna go ahead and just change the duration by dragging this to something like this is fine. So we have the, the transition right there. Now something really cool you guys can do is if you click in the middle so you guys can really see what's happening. If you click this little arrow, you guys can change the position or the area that it's going to come in. So maybe I want it to come in from the bottom left to the bottom or the top right. It's going to look something like this and it looks really cool. Maybe I want to do a little bit faster. So just drag that a little bit like that and you have something like that, which looks pretty good. So you want to go ahead and import the whoosh transition. I already imported it. So I'm going to drag that right in between these clips. If you can't just drag it right here, that's perfectly fine. So now we have something like this. And if it's a little bit too fast, just drag the duration of the transition or the sound effect and you have that going on. I know it looks kind of, it kind of sounds and looks weird right now because there's no music, but trust me, it will look really nice. So we have that going on, pretty much good to go, but we still need a couple of things to make this video a little bit more, more interesting. So we want to go ahead and add a freeze frame right here where they're looking directly at the camera. And to do that, it's very simple. Click on the video here that you want to freeze the frame. And what we're technically doing is taking a screenshot of the video in Final Cut Pro 10. And if you guys didn't know this, it's very, very easy to do. Go to edit at the top and go to add freeze frame. Or you can use the shortcut option F like that. It just freezes it. And then we want to go ahead and make this a little bit short. So couple of seconds short not too not too long so like that and then it will just continue playing as normal so what we want to go ahead and do is make this a little bit interesting so we want to go ahead and add our um, iPhone shutter sound effect so drag that right below that video and it's gonna look like this just go ahead and cut it to where it, it actually starts and ends so right there is good and make sure to fit it to exactly that duration so we play it, it looks just like that okay and we don't need the rest. Whoops, I think we can cut it like right here because we don't need the rest, honestly. So from here, you want to go ahead and add a keyframe in the very beginning of this freeze frame. So go to the inspector window, go to the transform and add a uh, keyframe in the scale all option. Or you can go ahead and go to the transform button here and go and click this plus icon there to add a keyframe. From here, you want to go ahead and scale this up quite a bit, okay? So something like that. Or you can go with more subtle, like something like this. And uh, from here, you want to go ahead and go a little bit, I don't know, maybe, so it goes like this, it stops, and then I want it to end about here, kind of in the middle. So to do that, just very simple, click on it again and add another keyframe, or go here, I'm going to go ahead and just push um, the plus button, and I'm going to bring it down to 100%, okay? And press enter, so now we should have something like this, right? So it looks really nice. 
and it stops and then from here you can go ahead and continue and shrink it or kind of trim it down to where the video begins again so now if we play it it looks like this and then it just continues that way so I hope that wasn't confusing and uh, it's pretty straightforward if you guys want me to do a tutorial on keyframing please drop that like button that'd be awesome or just comment down that'd probably be the easiest but be sure to leave a like for sure this is the effect we got right here which looks really really good now we're pretty much finished with this the last thing to do is add the music the music will be down in the description for you guys to download I'm just gonna go ahead and enable it because I already have it uh, imported and when we're finished we're gonna go ahead and kind of make this to where the beat drops because that's the best part right so so now if we play it from the beginning we should have something that will look like this So that's pretty much the tutorial. I know it was kind of kind of straightforward and kind of easy to do. This just goes to show that Final Cut Pro 10, you can do a whole bunch of things with it. And that is what I'm trying to show you guys, is try to spicing up your vlogs or your films and make it look a little bit interesting. And I know there is a white square here. My apologies, you guys can fix it if you guys want. If you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, be sure to leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.